Hey guys, next up in the workshop, we go to the world of two moons for my favorite comic, Elf Quest. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Today we are working on miniatures from one of my favorite comic books of all time, Elf Quest. Now, they don't necessarily have any games that you can use the miniatures for. Uh, I mean, they do have a role-playing game, which is long out of print, and I suppose you could use it for that. These are mostly just uh, to paint up and display to look nice um and these were one of the stretch goals uh so these were one of the goals that they had for for uh, a, a kickstarter that they had uh, for their audio movie it was absolutely fantastic um the audio movie you like that it felt like you were right there in the world of two moons and you were, felt like you were right there with the wolf riders and the Sun Folk. Um, it was absolutely great. I loved it. So, what we are doing, like I said, what we're doing today is we are going to paint some miniatures that go along with that story. Um, one of the main characters, or comes to be one of the main characters, uh, her name is Lita. And uh, if, if those of you who've read the story, you know uh those of you who haven't uh she kind of becomes the um well she becomes a very 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 important member of of this of the story so the story that i'm talking about is right here it's elf quest and they have come in a variety of different forms. They've come in manga form. They've come in single issue form. They've come in graphic novel form. They've in uh, novelizations, uh, the audio movie, just tons. So what we're doing, like I said, what we're going to do today is we're going to start working on Lita. Oh no! Oh well. We'll fix that in a second. Because I will show you something. Um, most of the miniatures, as you can see, with Lita, they don't come on a standard base. Like you would have for most miniatures. So if I want to use the handle, I'm going to have to basically put her on that. But for the moment, I think I'm just going to start out as is. No, we're just going to work on her just like that. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the we're gonna do the skirt first, and for the skirt, we are going to. Use our Caledon Sky Blue potentially. It's 
going to take some mixing. Mm -hmm. I can use what's there. And we are going to use our small layer brush because it is one of the largest portions These miniatures are actually more miniature than most. And the RLs and for this story, elves are small. So if they're represented in a, you know, in a true Twenty eight scale um, no, well, a true twenty eight scale and they're just about right. So even though I'm going to be going back and tidying up things as I go, with the uh, with Lita, these miniatures, I like to be. relatively uh, hmm. relatively clean and need right off the hop. again you know if I get paint where I don't necessarily want it 
at least at this stage, I can go back and clean it up. And that'll be, and that'll be okay. I have been looking forward to getting my hands on these guys. And starting to paint them. Because, well, again, like I said, they're from one of my all-time, if not absolute, favorite comic book. And also a chance to... paint characters that I absolutely love is, uh, is you know like I love painting my space greens and I love painting Judge Dredd and I love painting you know all the other projects that I've done but these ones are a bit of a personal kind of a personal project for me now I didn't know if you noticed or not but Lita is a darker skinned glass right here so we will need to copy the skin, whereas a lot of the a lot of the other elves are more of the Caucasian colorings. There's another dark-skinned elf, but like I said, we're kind of working on her right at the moment. So. next largest parts and while we're kind of letting the skirt dry or you know basically we're just laying down colors that's what we're doing
and we're going with a darker base so that we can uh, kind of use that as our shade. And now it's time for the make things look bigger apparatus, which I know everybody's come to everybody's come to love. Interesting. Hmm. It would seem somebody is looking for attention. She was. Now she's hiding in the curtain. You may hear her, you may not, I don't know. Okay, so we'll get attention in a bit. Right now, my attention is on Lita. Oh, I'm hiding her behind me so that you can't see what I'm doing. Now some of this we are going to have to be a little bit messy and then go back and fix it later. So I don't really see way around some of it and that's all right That's basically what it is. She's got a necklace on and we're gonna we're gonna paint over the necklace just to make sure that we get all of all of the skin on the face. And the neck.
also going to cover over the bracelets to make sure that we get the skin tone between the bracelets. I see, oh, yes. She brought up her toy, which means she wants to play. And we will be playing very soon. Because Studio Cat doesn't wait very long. Side for the moment. Everybody, you know. Mm-hmm. Guess this. Yes. You know Studio Cat. She likes attention. Okay. Do you want to say hi? Or do you want to give me more kisses? Hmm? Kisses, apparently. <laughs> we'll play in a minute, sweetheart. All right. Back to the real job at hand. Actually, at this time, we are going to do some shading, I think. Just a little bit. dark skin I have actually found that Juju Violet actually is a very nice shade it uh, kind of adds in the, the the color the coloring under the skin it's actually quite nice you know what and I think Juju Violet will probably work quite well For the uh, for the skirt too, but just a light amount. Number one, because I'm pretty sure. I don't have a blue. And I kind of like, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to like how the violet turns out. So we're going to take one of my uh, we're going to take one of my rougher medium layer brushes. 
shake up the juicy violet. Juju Violet on the skin is going to be an all over. about the about the violet but the violets work seems to work quite well go and then for the skirt we're just kind of Give it an all over. I was going to just see if I could put it into the. Into the recesses. But. That's okay. There we are. And now with that, we are going to leave her alone for till we come back. And then we are going to start highlighting and making the skin and the dress look beautiful. All right, guys, so until next time, I want you to try, it's not a commandment or anything, but you guys know that, I would like for you to stay safe, be safe, most of all, paint safe, and we'll see you next time in the workshop.